Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today we're looking at this Taken Porsche. I believe that's how you call it, Taken. Either way, uh, here's the share code. Got it? Great. And of course, I mean, there's a whole long word to this. Cross, Turismo, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this is my A-Class 750 horsepower on snow tire compound. There's only two of us up here if you do um, A, Drift, and Any, and you press Search. And it is uh, 10.46 p.m. right now. The car has been out for, what, 12 hours? And uh, there's only two of us that have a um, A-class uh, tune for this car. And mine is called KP Easy All-Wheel Drive Drift. And I will explain why it's called Easy later on. So let's get into it. And also, I do have other tunes up there also as well. Um, this one is not shared yet. I'm still working on it. I think it's, it's good as it is, but... We'll get there. If you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comments below. But I do also have the Master All-Wheel Drive. As you can tell, it has a lot of power. And it's also on Snow Tire Compound. And actually, I tuned this one first, and then I tuned this one. They are pretty much the same tune. Except for, like, gearing um, and, like, you know, differential. Either way, let's get into this A-Class, show you guys everything about this thing. So we just have the stock motor and battery parts in there. As it, as it comes with 750 horsepower. All right. And same here with the conversion. As you can tell, I, I mess with a whole bunch of things. All right. This is for the rally um, car. That's why that one's bought. And then this one's S, for the S1 build. So we all, we all know that. Um, but yeah. So there's definitely a lot less horsepower and torque when you get the second motor in here. So you can bring down your PI number make a nice off-road vehicle for this thing um it's it's quite fun i might make a video of it who knows either way just stock front bumper in the rear a uh, front and then also in the rear it's just stock all right my rally one has the spoiler in the back all right it's like i said we got the snow tire compound in there uh we got 285s in the front and 305s in the rear all right this is what the regular rims look like i just went with my uh wet sport tc 105 ends they save a lot of weight uh we just got the stock track width in the front and stock track width in the rear on this one just to maximize the slide at least i think it does either way we got the race drive line and a drift differential. Of course, we've got the drift springs and dampeners. Anti-roll bars for the front and the rear. No roll cage. And it's got a street weight reduction. And all that can get you stay in the 750 horsepower range, keep you in the A800. All right, so there's my build. Pretty, pretty simple. Car mastery for this, I have even looked at it. But they definitely want you to go sideways with, with this car. At least they gave us a drift kit. Unlike the other cars they gave us and said, hey, we want you to drift this with race suspension. Either way, moving on, here is the tune. So to maximize the slide, we've got 55 and 55. As you can tell, we have a 0 to 60 and 2.9. Your top speed of 125. It seems to be right where it wants to be. All right. As you can tell, here is the gearing. You do have two gears, and they're really close to each other. This is where I found was the speed spot for A-Class. All right. Here is my alignment. And like I said, it's a semi-straight build. Um, so it's got 5.0 and 3.6. And as you'll tell, when we go outside with this car, it does drive in a straight line. All right. Anti-row bars are just there for show. One and one. Springs are just super soft. So 5.17 for both. And then I decided to bring up the rod height as high as you could go just to uh, create some body roll so this thing slides a little easier for you. Dampening is 21, 20, and 20. Okay. No downforce to worry about. Braking at its left at 50 and 100. And then differential is 76, 86, 97, 97. And there's only about 71% going to the rear. I tried 86. It was way too much. It, it was hard to handle. Brought it down to 71, and I thought it was perfect. So there is the tune. 
and let's take her outside and show you guys what she's like. And I said, she does, she's a semi-straight drift tune, and I'll show you what that means. So here, we're not even going to go that way. We could go that way, but oh well. I already turned my wheel. Alright, so as you can tell, it drives in a straight line. As you can tell, all I'm doing is pressing down my uh, my throttle. Um, as you can tell, we hit that top speed of 125. But I mean, honestly, when you're going sideways, you get close to it. But yeah, either way, it's drift tuned. And I wanted to make an A-Class for it. I thought, hey, why not? You know, and as I can tell, there's only two of us that have made one. Um, you basically just got to drift this like you stole it. Uh, and that's okay, you know? This is a great one just if you want to just mess around the map. Um, of course, the S1 would definitely be for something that you would take, you know, like open drift lobbies and, and whatnot. But I felt like the 125 was all this thing really needed. And I tried to get the, the revs to get up there. Alright, so you might have to go back and forth with this thing, but it's not too bad. And there is a 41.7 with this thing. That really is not a bad car. It really does like to, you know, smoke up the environment. I love this thing. But as you can tell, that 125 seems to be really good uh, for this vehicle. As you can tell, I am not redlining right now. And, I mean, yeah, it works. Yeah, 14, 15,000 RPMs. Yeah, it works. And it's not redlining. So, when you see anybody that has a higher top speed than me, I'd be wary of it. They'd probably, it probably struggles um, to drift. Especially if it's on the snow tire compound. I, I think I got this thing uh, dialed in just right for this for this car for this class. It's it's a pretty easy easy little drift car. Take it up the first or down the first. Yeah, that's fantastic. It works, and it drives straight. What else could you ask for? And that is my tune for this long name of the Porsche Taycan. I think that's how you call it, Taycan. Uh, Cross Turismo Turbo S. You know, I'll probably Google it, and I probably have it completely wrong. I'm not sure. It's how it goes sometimes. You know, I'm just a tuner. All right, let me go. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And definitely look out for my S1 um, video. I will be making that next. So yeah, let's get on to that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.